a whole mother in a church. I was watching. Look at her and, and, and emotional. Emotion. Come and see the emotion. Oh, oh, prophet. And uh, yeah, yeah. And yes, you were a witch. You killed your first daughter. Now you want to extend it to your second. And you know, when, when you arrest them, and some, some of you have to stop this emotional nonsense. That emotionality is not letting you fight a good fight. And therefore, they are bewitching you through your emotions so you can pray uh, or an objective prayer to allow God to do his work in your life. Because you are being, you are being emotional. And your emotional is standing the way of God striking that witch, striking that wizard. You are too emotional, emotionally attached. They have bewitched you to the point that you are too, you, you can't even suspect it could be them. So you have never even prayed objectively that Father, whoever it may be, let your arrow, let your sword. Because how are you going to know that this charismatic woman who goes to church and gives a tithe and offering and that's all that she's been traveling to other countries for conferences? And the prophet says that all these things will not fly today. You are exposed. You, you are a witch. You killed your first, you killed, you are in for your second. The, her prayer, your own daughter's prayer, that's why you are going through this attack, and you know it. Some of you, they've blinded you by their, you have been blinded by your emotions. You have put in your emotions in the way, and therefore, the witch is killing you softly, and you can't even know. Oh, that, oh, that's my best friend. Oh, oh that is my, uh, see, uh, you better put emotions aside and say, Father, whoever it may be, Reveal it and deal with them accordingly. Because if some of you don't wake up, they will cut you off quickly. Because witchcraft spirit is a spirit that has no compassion and shows no mercy. They will, a whole mother can kill his own son and daughter. Not because she wills it. This woman, I don't think it is her will to want to kill her daughter. But she's under pressure. There is a demand. If you don't bring your second child, you are going. So it's between her and her children. Pick one. And she also is not willing to die. So what is she going to do? She's trying her best to kill the next one. And the other woman to have. That's of late. I don't have time for baby Christians and turkeys and chicken Christians. Pray for me. Oh, pray for me. Me, I pray for you. One, two, three. You have to learn how to pray. If you can't pray, go and learn how to pray. Because the witches, they are not playing games. They eat. Your enemies are not playing games. They are not playing games. If this girl didn't know how to defend herself through intensive warfare spiritual prayers, her own mother is about to eat her up just as she has already finished eating up her firstborn. And you are still sitting down at this time in your life saying, pray for me, pray for me, brother, can pray for me. Pray for you at this time. Pray for you, you don't know how to pray. Pray for you with all these materials. You don't learn how to pray. Pray for me 21 days fast. We are praying. You haven't learned how to master warfare and deliver yourself from the powers of darkness. You are still soliciting for prayer. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, child of God. Wake up because your enemies are not playing games and gimmicks. I'm not here for toy games. I'm here for people who want to live and see the glory of God and fulfill destiny. The year is coming to an end. I don't have time for games and gimmicks. I don't. You can go to the next place where they have time for fun. But the year is coming to an end and God says, help some people to leave. Because other than that, witches will sacrifice them quickly. And if you want to learn to leave, then you better learn to pray. We here will help you and pray with you. But we will not let you be dependent. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. You are not helping yourself. Because your enemies don't need any help. They will kill you in an instant. Give you one stroke. Give you one accident. Give you one brain tumor. Give you one, one sickness. You are gone. They shoot you in the spirit. You are gone. I'm dealing with issues. I'm dealing with ground issues. People I'm dealing with. And I know that they are killing them. And I'm interceding that, Father, don't let them. Because they, spiritually, it's time for them to go. Somebody is trying to waste them. So when we come here, it's not child's play. It is not child's play. It is not child's play. So when we say pray, <laughs> pray for yourself. Pray. But may the Lord help you to know who is who. And stop being that emotional. Stop being that emotional. Oh, my. That's my this and that's my place. Stop that nonsense. 
a whole mother has killed her first son, going to the second daughter. The daughter says, no, this time, I'm not going to, I refuse to die. Whoever killed my sister, I will not let you kill me also. I will bow to send her. Now the arrow is returned to her own mother. And she's been arrested in an all night. She went to an all night. She went to an all night. And the prophet arrested her. And God exposed her to the public. And she is the reason. So the enemy is not playing. From now to December, it is not games. So if you are serious, you are welcome. If you are not serious, today I, I tell myself, I was telling my wife on Facebook, you have 100 options to attend to. 100. 100 options. There are, there are 100 options of other prayer lines and prayer things. But right now, right now, it is serious business. It is life. And much more, I, I, that's what I was telling some of you, be, be please so into the Psalms 91 and be praying for preservation because right now, Belzebub is putting pressure. Belzebub is putting pressure. Belzebub is the king, is the chief, is the principalities of all the witches and wizards, all the flying beasts. Belzebub, she is the custodian of the black bank. Belzebub must bring blood. Halloween, he, she needs blood. Thanksgiving, she needs blood. Christmas, she needs blood. First week of January, first couple of weeks, she needs blood. Belzebub is, is angry, putting pressure. Witches, witches. In your father's house, mother's house, how many blood do you bring them? Hurry up. The witches are under pressure. If they don't break, they may go with themselves. If they don't donate and bring you and sacrifice you, they must go. They must exchange because they didn't fulfill their assignment. Another lady was called. Another lady was called. The prophet scanned her and said, you know what? I see seven caskets. A, a, a brother is dead. She says, he's dead. And I see another person going, he says, another person is dead. And then she, he said, you'll be traveling to go for the funeral and you, you will die. And then there will be another five more because there's a new person who is being instilled as a new witch who is going to be the chief witch of all the witches and wizards. And she needs seven human beings to, to be seated on her chief tansy of witches too so that she will be on for 70 years. So for 70 years, for every year, she, she needs seven. And the girl has already recorded two people gone within a span of two weeks. And she who will be going for the funeral, she is also enlisted because the seven casket, her name is also written on. These are all foolish things going on in, the, in families. And you want to tell me, pray for me, pray for me. At this time, pray for me. At this time, I'm not going to wait for anybody to pray for me. I will pray myself and jump out of every casket. I'll pray myself. If you dare me, you will die. I don't have time. Because before you tell somebody to come and pray for you, the witches may have shot the arrow. You are already gone. I said, my spirit is angry. Especially, sometimes I wish it was not true. We teach it, we preach it, but I, 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 just, I just wish, oh, maybe it is not real. We are being too spiritual. But it is true. A man's closest enemies are people of his own household. You can argue with, you can fight it, but Jesus said it. A man's greatest enemies are the people closest to him or her. You can argue with, you can fight it, but that is the words of Jesus. And even with Jesus, it was exemplified in his own life. One of his own closest allies sold him over. So may the Lord reveal to you who is who. And stop that emotional nonsense and attachment and allow God to reveal things to you and expose who must be exposed and frustrate their evil works. Because as long as you are blinded and blindfolded through your emotions, you will never detect, and that's why they kill you because of ignorance. But when you become objective and you are open and you pray, then the sword, because some people, God wants to fight for you, but your emotion is standing away. God wants to deal with some evil people, individuals, wicked people, individuals in your lives. But because of your emotions and you are, you are always standing the way of God. 
and say, okay, if, since you don't want me to fight this battle and you are always wanting to do your own thing, I let you go. And these people to have no mercy, they'll kill you in a blink of an eye and take sacrifice you because it's either you or them. In the satanic camp, it's either you or them. You, it's either they bring blood sacrifice or they themselves are going to be used to replace what they didn't bring. That's not for everybody. It's for people going through intensive warfare. And that's why here it's not for everybody. It's for people who are going through intensive spiritual, they say, a, an intensive place, a very intensive spiritual warfare. People understand spiritual things. And so if you don't understand it, it's foolishness to you. understand. Even if it was me, it would be foolishness. What I'm saying would be foolishness because you, you are ignorant of the, the device of the enemy. You already be which You don't understand nothing. But if you understand spiritual things and spiritual codes and spiritual things, then take this thing seriously and begin to pray that you shall not die. But you shall live, and that nobody should sacrifice you and cover your family and your children in the precious blood of Jesus. So if you don't understand, I understand. I understand you don't understand, and I don't want you to understand because this is not within your jurisdiction. You can't expect somebody who is having a headache to go to a gynecologist for treatment. The gynecologist specializes in pregnancies. So if you are not pregnant, what's your business? So if this is not your, your 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 place of problem, it will be foolishness. And I understand because you, you don't have spiritual problem because you, you don't even know what's going on. So you coming to a gynecologist, the gynecologist cannot help you because whatever she is doing, it doesn't make sense to you because that is not a speciality. In the same way, this is my speciality. We deal with spiritual deep things. So it is like you come in, it is a branch. Gynecologist is also a doctor. But the fact that you're having headache and stomach ache doesn't mean that go to the gynecologist. A doctor, all right, but they can't treat you. You can run to the dentist, but they are, they are specialty, they are doctors. But not your stomach. The dentist cannot help your stomach. So in the same way, we are under the department of Christianity. But here is the, is the military branch. It's the armed force. It's, it's the warfare zone. So if your situation doesn't pertain to this area, you'll be wasting your time. You're not even understanding what we are saying and what we are doing because that is not your sickness. That is not the problem you are dealing with. But those who are pregnant, when they go to the gynecologist, they understand the terminology and they understand what is going on. So there are people right now hearing me. They understand it because even they know it some people most people here know and understand what i'm going through so you an outsider it's okay if you don't understand and it's okay if it doesn't make sense to you that's okay you are in the wrong place you are a patient with headache who has bumped into a dentist or a gynecologist and they don't make sense to you that's how it is we are in the military branch the armed force we deal with warfare not fanfare. So that's what I'm telling you, somebody. Amen. And if we don't pray some prayers and stand in the gap of intercessors for some people, some people will not need to see next year. We need to frustrate and to add the works of the enemy. Amen. So now, Psalms 124 says that if it hadn't been for the Lord who was on our side, let Israel say, if it hadn't been for the Lord who was on our side, when men, when men, when men rose up against us, they would have swallowed us alive when their wrath were kindled against us then the waters would have overwhelmed us the streams would have gone over our soul then the swollen waters would have gone over our soul now listen to this verse 6 is where i want to emphasize to somebody he says blessed be the lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth blessed be the lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth somebody wanted to eat you up somebody wanted to eat up your flesh drink your blood somebody wanted to devour you somebody wanted to turn you into a turkey and a chicken doing halloween and thanksgiving but thanks be to god who will not allow who will not permit your enemies to kill you through cancer to kill you through heart attack to kill you through accident get a book consuming fire for fire it will help you deal with witchcraft 
and get your deliverance from the powers of witchcraft. It will expose any witch in your life and frustrate their satanic agenda concerning you. Get this book and it will be a source of help to you. As you use this book, God will begin to expose your enemies to you in your dreams. Go to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com, 